Hey, this is Angela with Progress Permaculture. I'm actually not in my garden. I am out on a run and I spotted this plant and wanted to make a quick video about it. I don't get this plant in my garden um, very often, once every few years, and it's worth talking about. So this is Solanum dulcimera, also called Bittersweet Nightshade. You can see it has a very potato looking flower purple with a yellow center. It has these fruit that look a little bit like uh, a tomato or a mix between a tomato and a goji berry. It is in the same family as tomatoes and goji berries. It is a nightshade. Solanum dulcimera is technically a weed here and I see folks get real freaked out about it and it is not edible. The berries can give you some mild GI upset. If you ate huge quantities of them, you could get pretty sick, but um, it's fairly unpleasant, unpalatable berry, so folks don't usually ingest very much of it. Um, but this plant is, while it's weed, if it comes up in my garden, I let it flower, and then I cut it all back to the ground before it can set seed because this plant is just amazing bumblebee food. It will be covered in bumblebees. They really, really love these blossoms. So again, that bittersweet nightshade, it's not a plant that you need to be afraid of. People hear the name nightshade and they get really freaked out. People often confuse this and a close relative, uh, Solanum nigrum, which is black nightshade. They sometimes confuse it with uh, Atropa belladonna, which is deadly nightshade, which is not even closely related to this, which is why common names are a problem. But this plant is a weed. It will set seed everywhere if you let it. Um, so it's best to, if you have it in your garden and you want to let it flower and then pull it up, it pulls up very easily. You can let the bumblebees feed off of it and then just don't let it, don't let it set fruit. These fruits again will be bright red when they're mature but they're not palatable and people don't usually try and consume them. So it's very rare that people get sick off of eating this plant. Uh, a couple of other things about it. The leaves can be variable shaped, kind of like tomato leaves can be varied. And it can get quite tall and is sort of semi upright. Sometimes it'll flop over on the ground, but uh, it can get quite, quite big. So again, that is bittersweet nightshade common weed but not one you need to be afraid of maybe one you don't want to let proliferate in your garden all right i'm back to finish my run i'll be back with a video from my garden later thanks